hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make a video that may very well save your life so thank me in the comments i know i'm not the only one who is hungry and has no money to order any food no money for delivery and then you're like mm, okay let me just open the fridge and see what i have and then you see what you have and you have absolutely nothing and all you have is like the butter the bread and condiments in your fridge well today is your lucky day because i'm going to show you some creative meals that i've made up so that you can eat whenever you have nothing to eat in the house so right now i'm going to show you guys my fridge here's what my fridge looks like and you guys are probably like what the heck is she talking about she has a fridge full of food who is she fooling like what is she even saying but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna pretend that it's two nights before when I literally only had water and milk in my fridge and like leftover white rice. So if you guys have nothing to eat in the house but eggs, you guys have everything because you can make so many things with eggs and I'm gonna boil four eggs and then show you guys what I'm gonna do with them. While my eggs are cooking, I'm gonna go into my pantry and see if I can find some type of pasta so that I can make like a salad. So this is my pantry. All I have is like beans and corn, but I do have tuna and this is gonna be our ingredient. I was also able to find some elbows, so you guessed that we are going to make some elbow tuna salad. So now that my macaroni is cooked, I'm gonna start by preparing my tuna. And this is just one can of tuna. I'm not making a lot because I'm only one person. I'm gonna start by adding my mayo. And you guys most likely have mayonnaise in your fridge because it's like a staple condiment. And I'm just gonna put a lot of mayonnaise in here. As you can see, I cut up some vegetables. I did a little parsley, white onion, red pepper, and some green onions. And I'm just gonna add this to my tuna. Now I'm just gonna mix everything together. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm also gonna add a little bit of pepper. Now my tuna is done. If you guys don't have pasta in your pantry, you can always use a loaf of bread and make a tuna sandwich. So my bread is done. I'm gonna cut this bread in half and make a sandwich out of this one bread. And I'm just gonna add my tuna. And that is it for my first plate. The rest of my tuna I'm gonna add onto my macaroni. I'm gonna be adding a little more mayo to my macaroni to make it more creamy. And 
and we are done this looks really delicious and it was super easy to make now that my eggs are ready i'm gonna show you guys what i do with them i added really cold water because now i'm going to peel them So right now I'm just going to cut my eggs in half and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make deviled eggs. I'm going to take the egg and I'm going to empty out the yolk in a different container. And now that I've scooped everything out, I'm going to be adding some mayonnaise. And I'm just going to mash these up. With my fork. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of mustard. If you guys have relish, I heard that um, it's really good for your eggs, so you can add this as well. Except that I don't have any, so I won't be using that right now. Now I'm just going to taste this. It's pretty good, but I need some pepper. Now that my filling is done, I'm going to be adding it to a Ziploc bag. You're going to sip it up. And then you're going to make a small hole in the end of your bag. Just like this. And now we're going to go ahead and fill our eggs. Just like this. I'm going to be adding a little bit of paprika for decoration. And voila, we have some fancy eggs. So another thing that I hope you guys have in your pantry is either a plantain, sweet potato, or just a regular potato. And I'm going to make french fries so that the french fries can go with my deviled eggs. I'm going to start with some olive oil, some salt, a little bit of pepper, ooh, that's a lot of pepper, and we're just going to mix it with our hands. This is what our potatoes are looking like. You guys can go ahead and deep fry them in hot oil, but I'm going to be using my air fryer, which is right over there.
So another thing that I like making when there's no food in the house is crackers with cream cheese. But if you guys don't have cream cheese, um, then you guys can use butter because it's just as good. So here I have my cream cheese and here are my crackers. Cream crackers by the brand Lee. But you guys are welcome to use saltine or Ritz crackers, whatever you have in your pantry, if you have this in your pantry. The rest of the crackers I'm gonna spread with butter. Right now I'm going to make a chocolate milkshake because I miraculously found chocolate ice cream in my fridge. I'm going to put in whole milk. If you guys don't have whole milk, use evaporated milk because I bet that you have that in your pantry. Now I'm grabbing some Kit Kat mini bars and I'm going to break them in half and put them inside. Now I'm just going to close it up and blend it all together. Now I'm adding in some ice cubes to make the consistency a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna blend it up once more. And here is the finished product. Okay guys, so I'm done making everything. I have some fries, some crackers, deviled eggs, some tuna salad, and a tuna salad sandwich. If you guys for some reason think that everything I made is too much work and you're like, I'm not gonna do that, I don't know what to tell you fam, it's not my fault that you're lazy, but let's go ahead and try everything that I made. So I'm staying in the kitchen because this is the best lighting. The background is a little ratchet, but bear with me. I'm gonna start out by trying my eggs. It's pretty good, I really like doubled eggs. Guys, just for future reference, I don't think I'll ever be able to do a mukbang in my channel because I'm like the slowest eater ever. So then it would just take me forever to even like chew and swallow and that's not gonna be entertaining. So I'm gonna try my chocolate shake. Oh, that's so good. I can actually taste like the little bits of Twix in here. I mean, <clears throat> Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna try my basic cheese and butter crackers. Here's the cream cheese. Mm, cream cheese is so good. Cheers. Mmm. Mm, but I think butter is better. I'm gonna be trying my um tuna sandwich now. This tuna is really good. And it's super simple to make. I'm gonna try my macaroni salad. <clears throat> Thank you. 
It's also delicious. The tuna is really good with the vegetables. It tastes like really good. And I would say that my favorite thing about this is the shake, the tuna sandwich, and the deviled eggs. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you plan on making any of these things when you're really hungry and you can't find nothing. And don't forget to like. And if you haven't subscribed already, sis, just subscribe. Might as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.